Hey there folks, it's Barry's Best Hunting. I'm Mike and I do bees. Welcome back to Southeast Louisiana. Alright, well I'm in town going to a couple colonies that we have over here. And uh, I've taken y'all here one time, I think, maybe twice. Uh, these are a couple colonies I got next to a blueberry patch and a big garden. This is a good yard because he said he can take as many bees as I want out there because he just wants bees on his property. Blueberries aren't quite mature, so we only really put four colonies out there for his big garden and the couple existing blueberries he has. But uh, I'm happy to have them out there. Okay, just put my seatbelt on. But this is the same day I was out at the Abbey helping with the honey, and so I got all my stuff loaded up. I got my hive lifter loaded up, and as much rain as we've had, it rained once again today, and it looks like it's threatening out in the uh, horizon again. Uh, it's gonna be nice to actually have that, because I can't pull up closer to the hive, and uh, I can normally park right next to the hives, and that's easy enough, but today I can't. It's so wet, I don't think I can drive back in there. The only other issue is the way these hives are set up on the stand, there's some old fencing that they're laid upon and I don't know if I better get the hive lifter up there steady but we'll give it a shot but basically what I'm doing is going to pull a couple soup couple of supers I don't remember how many I had out here I haven't been to these colonies I don't even know if these colonies are doing good I haven't been to them in probably a month and a half I checked them and they were loading honey pretty good right as the flow was beginning actually I may have went out there halfway through the flow and they were loaded up pretty doggone good so I'm hoping that there's a couple decent supers that nobody's gotten uh, killed robbed out died or whatever but uh, who knows got to get out here and find out first so off we go same day different job down here in southeast Louisiana where it's hot and humid it is 91 degrees and it is humid off the charts but that's okay that's just what it is down here. We're almost done working outside as far as beehives. Not yard work though. Alright guys, I'm dressed out and trying to hurry up. I got thunderstorm coming, but I told you I hadn't been out here a while. Paige, come check on your colonies. Well, I was out here two weeks before vacation. Didn't get a chance to get out here before vacation. And we got a problem. I pulled up and I had, what I had was two tall hives on either side and two double deeps in the middle. Basically I had two supers on one and two supers on the other. I pull up and I only see one tall hive, two double deeps, and just a piece of white box. Let's go look. I already looked, but I'm gonna show you what I found. I'm actually trying to hurry up. We got a thunderstorm right here, thunder in the distance. And it is forecasted to rain. I need my smoker for this. We got a salvage operation. So, I gotta walk across this. I told you I had a shaky foundation for the stand. Well, hive stand fail. Uh, looks like we got some collapse going on on the foundation. Not much of a foundation, but not a good thing. Let's take a look. Well, there you go, guys. It's down and it doesn't look. It's been robbed out. There's no bees in it. Basically, the boards gave way on this old fence. Uh, tells me it got loaded up with honey. I'm gonna fume this other one real quick. And while I'm fuming it, I can clean up this mess. It's a good queen, too. Well, you say that about all your queens. You're right. These are usually pretty mean. I don't smoke them a lot. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix this. Those are some ornery bees. All right, so this fail is totally my fault. I should have been out here. I'm gonna have to fix this. But fortunately, we're gonna have a lot of weight off. I think we'll be all right. I'm gonna prop those back up, but maybe I'll put something under it. 
I'm gonna have to do something to get this stand right. Got my hive lifter, I can probably lift these off. Well, good time to check it, huh? Oh, there's a big old skink living in there. Well, all this equipment will go home, man. Uh, I don't see any wax moths. Not yet. Uh, oh, man. Yep. clean all this out. All the wax. Stack all this up. So it's just full of old wet, nasty wax. Obviously one of the storms got it. Got to sit it under the shed, let it dry out, and then clean it all out. Next few days before the wax moths get it. It's all right. So the problem is, he had put the sawdust under here, and I think that was kind of the demise as the boards rotted. So I'm gonna have to figure a way to get this up here a little better without dumping the big high of course this is a temp fix when we got less stormy weather I'll come out and we'll redo this but there's not gonna be a hive here so I gotta be careful, not too much weight on that end, but it's sitting square over the bricks. It'll be fine when I put those back.
Only doing one because that ramp I can't get to it and I need to fume the rest out of the second they're not coming out of there could be brood in there it's a very huge hive so very well could be brood and they don't want to come out of that second one it's all right one at a time still easy That's definitely what happened guys as that that end hive filled up with honey it got too heavy maybe a wind or something else rocked it just a little bit and it broke that board uh, that's exactly what happened because this one actually had a full super and about a half at the midpoint of the flow so I took that super I just took off I took it from over there and put it here and they filled it let me get fuming them Let's see if they got brood in here. Well, yeah, they're full. No brood. Yeah, no brood. They just don't want to come out. So the wheel would hit here. Well, then try to get the wheel just up there is not enough. When you lower it, the wheel would fall down. It was really a pain. Even getting the honey super off, it was hard. So we may need to do... It's come winter time when everybody's a little more calmed down. Pull them down off of here. Pull the fencing back out. Rake it out real good. Get to some hard dirt. Put the blocks back down and be good. The hive lifter works great for this stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased with the hive lifter and what I can do with it. But one thing is it needs to be level. It needs to be... I knew I, knew I was going to have problems out here because of this. But they were a little worse than I thought. you got to be able to go all the way into the hive stand unobstructed so that's something i'm gonna have to remember because i got some of these on pallets that's no problem i'll slide them out and then pick them up i'm gonna have to remind that when i set up any yards watch what my land looks like in front of them um, these are things i'm gonna make allowances for so that i can use that because those these are full honey boxes and i really don't feel like carrying them back to the truck so i can do it with this hive lifter easy enough this has got factor handles should lock right in We'll take it, pick it up, take it out. I think they're all out. I just looked in it. It's one thing when they weaken up and we don't check on them. It's still our fault to an extent, but that one was a fail on my part for not just getting out here and noticing. And, and I may not even caught it, to be honest with you. It probably was just one of those sudden wood finally gave way when there was that much honey and a little bit of wind or something. So, Plus, it's saturated. The ground is saturated. The sawdust probably got saturated. Everything's wet and rotten and nasty. So, combination of everything, but... My fault. I should have known better than the stand, but we'll get it fixed in the winter time. They'll be fine for now because we're doing any, we're just lightening them up. I was actually gonna take honey out of that top deep, but I really don't feel like messing with it. I'm gonna leave them alone. They look happy. They're alive. It means they're making bees because they got more than they had last time. So I'm just gonna leave them alone. I'm not gonna take anything from them. We'll set them for winter. Call it a day. Get them treated and do what we gotta do. Let me get this truck in order. I'm going back with more equipment than I expected.
All right, well, they're set for now. They'll make it. There won't be no more weight being put on them. Should be fine on the stand. We'll get them in the winter or the fall. Fix them up right. Uh, do what we got to do. And the sad part of that one is it was one of them that wouldn't have died if the stand wouldn't have fallen, I'm sure, because it was very healthy. I mean, as healthy as the rest. I don't know that, you know, I don't know Mike counts all that at this point, but uh, it was healthy enough. It was producing honey and had a queen and wasn't planning on swarming because it was clear of sales. So that one, that's a dead out. That's a Mike dead out for sure. My fault. Uh, and two supers, honey. Thing was full. That's okay. I only counted on getting two out of here because I really didn't expect the other one to produce that well. It was coming off of a swarm and a requeening, but it did well. So I did put a, a foundation 10 frame on it. They filled that thing slap full. And, uh, I hate when I do stupid stuff. All right. That's it. I'm going to get undressed. We'll close out the video in just a second. All right, guys. Time to close the video out. I am on my way back home. I got rain looking like a head. I got to get it get it back to the house. The super doesn't have a lid on it. I put the fume board lid on it. I didn't strap it. Probably should have strapped it. They got a flat tire in their tractor just like I had on mine. Anyway, we're done. That was a fail on my part. Now, look, I'm all busted up and just beating myself up. I'm not doing that at all. I just know when I do something stupid, and uh, that was something stupid. Uh, you'd think you live and learn by now, but uh, you didn't. But yeah, you just live and learn. You do stupid things, but then you think, well, you knew it. <laughs> well, I guess why I'm irritated with myself is I knew it when I saw the stand in the first place. I knew it wasn't necessarily the right way to do it. But I guess what happened was with all this rain, the wood got saturated, the weight in the hive was two supers full, nine frame supers. So those summer guns are heavy when they're full. It just busted through. It is what it is. We pick up the equipment. I may not even be able to salvage some of it because it's got mud and wax, you know, where they chew the wax off and they drop it in and it's all mixed with mud. I could probably dip them in water maybe and I'll see if that'll take this stuff out. I want to clean them, but I may end up having to scrape those frames. Anyway. It is what it is. We'll move on, get these boxes thrown in the hunting house. That gives us about 25 boxes to get extracted. I still got about 10 more next door I need to pull off and get those extracted. So I'll probably start extracting tomorrow. I got my honey house air conditioner sitting on the dry mode, trying to pull moisture out the air. Let them dry down for a couple days and we'll get busy. Unfortunately, it's going to get very cold in there. It's going to make the honey thicker, but I'd rather have it thicker and drier than uh, wet and running because we don't need fermentation later. So anyway, we'll get that hive stand straightened up in the fall going into winter. We'll move those off. Now, I want to talk about the hive lifter real quick. I'm still happy with the hive lifter, but I struggled out there with it. Um, my handles are jacked up. I need to really... I can get them with my handles. It takes me one or two tries. But when you got that lip on them boards, that really messed me up. I couldn't grab it. One of them, I just couldn't grab it. Uh, I had to pick it up with my back. So, they, But I was able to put it back on with the lift. Uh, so it's it's a little difficult. I have to struggle a little bit. But getting the honey supers off was nice. And walking them all the way back to that truck. I mean, I could walk one-handed with that thing. Boom, right on back there. So that was nice. Um, I like the hive lifter. I really do. I, I'm liking it a lot. It's going to work for moving double deeps. I move those double deeps once I can get to them. It, it was just getting to them with that, that platform in the way. Um, so... You know, it's a little bit slower. You do slow down, but I think you can get fast with your technique, but it is a bit slower. But man, when you're talking about, like myself, 40 supers or so, pulling them off and not having to lift them but roll them, I'm, I'm in, yeah, I'll take a little, a little, you know, slight bit slower than uh, a little bit faster and, and more back pain. <laughs> That's me. All right, guys, well, look, I'm turning. I'm heading over towards Tickfall, Louisiana. You know, Jerry Clower talked about Tickfall, Louisiana. Any of you guys that know Jerry Clower. Anyway, I'm heading that direction. Got to cut through there and get on back to the house. Hey, look, I appreciate everybody coming along. It's been two videos in one day, but I appreciate it. Guys, if you did like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you don't mind, of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And please, share this video with your friends, family, anybody that just enjoys watching bees. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. I don't do high stands too well, but I do bees. All right, guys, y'all have a good one. May Lord God bless you and keep you. See y'all later.